Question 7. What have I learnt from my prelim magazine? From doing my prelim magazine a few months ago, I have learnt quite a few new things about magazines and their contents, also how to make a successful magazine using Quark and Photoshop. Starting with the front cover, with the front cover of my prelim college magazine, it was quite simple because it was my first time making one. I included colours like blue and white and a simple background which was just a white. I chose to do it like this because I hadn't yet figured out how to make a successful background that would look unique on a magazine. Compared to my college magazine, the backgrounds and the colours used were much different. I used ones that represented the theme more considering in the college magazine I mainly followed what the colour schemes were of the college but I could have included more colours. With my college magazine I found with my audience research that people said that red and black were specific colours they represented with rock music. I've learnt how to do a lot more things on Photoshop from when I was doing my prelim magazine. I've learnt how to adjust text more to make sure it is the right size and fits on the page. I've learnt how to organise cover lines which make them and make sure that there are as many as I can to make the page look good but not too cramped. Looking at both of my prelim and college magazine it shows that I've learnt a lot on Photoshop considering on my college magazine there is a lot more content on the page and it looks much more professional compared to my college magazine which is quite plain and simple. To go back to my prelim magazine, I would improve the cover lines, the colour scheme and the main image. Considering on the college magazine, the front cover image does not relate much to college, but on my actual magazine of rock music, my main image relates to the rock music vibe. For the fact that I included the guitar in the picture to show that it has rock connotations. contents page I learned how to structure the page properly considering that on my prelim magazine the page wasn't very structured and didn't include headings and subtitles for each article. The articles on my college magazine were quite plain and simple. With my actual magazine the rock music I made sure that all the articles I used related to the to the theme and had a rock connotation to it. Improving the structure of my contents page, it made the magazine look much more professional. On my prelim magazine, everything was scattered around the page and didn't have much structure. I didn't include many images on my contents page of my prelim because I didn't know how many images would work on the contents page. Now, looking back, I realise that you can put a lot of pictures on the contents page because this is what a convention is. On my actual rock magazine, I included a few images which made the page look much better and I related them to some of the articles. Also by making a contents page I've learned how to use Quark better. On my prelim magazine I did it was my first time using Quark and I didn't know how to use it properly. I knew where some of the features were but I didn't know how to make them look good on the page. Now with my rock music magazine I found some of the features and I learned how to use them better. I include I learned how to insert an image and adjust the text. I, f I knew that adding guidelines to the page would help me structure the page properly and make sure everything fit. With my college magazine I didn't use the guidelines much because I didn't understand where the lines were and by doing this the page looked quite unstructured and messy. Also, by making a contents page, I've learned how to use Quark better. On my prelim magazine, I did. it was my first time using Quark and I didn't know how to use it properly. I knew where some of the features were, but I didn't know how to make them look good on the page. Now, with my rock music magazine, I found some of the features and I learned how to use them better. I, include, I learned how to insert an image and adjust the text. I, f I knew that adding guidelines to the page would help me structure the page properly and make sure everything fit. With my college magazine I didn't use the guidelines much because I didn't understand where the lines were and by doing this the page looked quite unstructured and messy. 
On my double page spread, I learned how to do a lot of new things. On the prelim magazine, we didn't do a double page spread, but this gave me the chance to first off make one and then see what else I could improve on if I ever did one again. I made sure that my double page spread linked well with the rest of the magazine by including making sure the colours and the content and the layouts looked like they would make part of the same magazine and all related to rock music. Overall with this magazine I learned how to use more tools on Quark and Photoshop. I also got a better understanding of how to successfully research things that would help me throughout the process of making, including existing magazines, magazine publishers and audiences. I think that I've learned and improved a lot from my college magazine. I'm very proud of my final outcome of my music magazine, The Noise.